Dirk Darren. I think we may not be up here. Hi, welcome to Bear Disciples. I'm Ross Quintana. I'm Richard Callahan. And boom, across the table, across the great divide, Mr. Richard Callahan. Okay, and today we've got from Schmaltz Brewing, Blau, and Terrapin, we've got uh, Combo Nation. Collaboration. It's Reunion Ale number 12. Dose. A lot of peeps out there. Um... So it's the second time they've brewed this. Yeah. They brewed it in 11. I remember they had a reunion in 11. And this I don't 12. know if it was with Terrapin, though. It was, yeah. Okay. The clock was with Terrapin. I'll call it okay. There it is. Uh, what we've got here, Dark Imperial Ale, brewed with cocoa nibs, cinnamon, vanilla, and natural flavors. Now, don't don't put crap like that on your lip. Natural flavors? What the hell is that? So it's if you don't if there's not a name for it that you that I could identify oh it's coriander something on I would know a dog walked through the brewery yeah <laughs> some pet dander something fell in it's natural flavors okay so schmaltz come on dude all right anyway that's enough yeah you and rogue and your natural flavors <laughs> all right um, no I'm hoping uh, it's gonna be good it's uh, a beer for hope there it is so it's benefiting the uh, is it mel- meloma? Myeloma. I'm sorry. Bone cancer of whatever medical type. I would. I'm not giving a shout out to bone cancer. Hope it goes away. Uh, this was their beer, and uh, I will drink it. And you may take the proceeds and cure whatever you need to cure. All right. Let's check out the pour here. Oh, smoking gun. This one had a little bit of age on it. It's looking good so far. Look at the cascade action right there. Blippity blip. Medium uh, size carbonation. Get a decent head on it. Got a weird smell when you pass it over here. All right. He who smelt it, dead it. Let's see about that. Okay, so I slightly over poured. Pass to our off cameraman, the Christopher. What? That's a lot of carbonation in there. Yeah, it is. Now, just seeing how quickly the carbonation moved through the beer, you know, we talk about it all the time, that you can see quality in the glass, and people go, well, you're supposed to tilt the glass when you pour, but then you don't mix it all up, you don't get all the esters out, all the, the gases and everything that's that's helping the aroma, and you don't get to see, before you drink it, the thickness of the beer, the density, because if that cascading action moves quickly like it did here, almost like a Sam Adams, uh, it tells you that it's not only just highly carbonated, but I'm guessing the body might be just a smidge thin. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing, so, too. I don't know if we mentioned it. it's 8% alcohol. 8% ABV. All right. And I so don't have a, the rate beer on this or the... Um, it's, a nice brown, that, it's a nice brown color, but uh, we'll see how it smells. Mm. Let me see your Tootsie Roll. It's what? That's right. It smells like a Tootsie Roll. The smell, vanilla, the, smell the, cho- the chocolate. <laughs> the, vanilla, ch- the vanilla and vanilla is chocolate co- uh, flavor. Look at that. Try, try to <laughs> vanilla is really coming through in this. Yeah, it's a dominating uh, That's what I've always wanted in somebody that advertised vanilla was to actually yeah. smell the vanilla. Not to get it from Eat the oak it. or the bourbon that they aged yeah. the barrel in. It goes to show you how little they're putting in it because vanilla is an aggressive flavor. It takes over yeah. the dish. So if you can't smell this it, this kind of didn't smells put like a vanilla, there. like a. Uh, this smells just this smells like. like a, this smells kind of like a, a sugar cookie or like a. It smells like a cookie with vanilla. This uh, smells a lot like I just had a bait, the Bateman mocha. Friend. Have you ever had that? Uh-huh. Kind of like a looks like a you know one of those that sits off with the imports and all that. Anyway, it tastes just like a Tootsie Roll. And this you know, tastes, you know, this smells get, like this, plus cinnamon. So you know, cinnamon you know what I'm kind of getting off this? Mm. Nowhere near the magnitude, but a hint. Just because it's the closest yes. in vanilla? Yes. No, not vanilla. Creme brulee. Yeah, stick your nostril in there again. The butterscotch? Chocolate. No. I actually get a hint. I'm going to say the creme brulee because the vanilla is I agree with the side. creme brulee. Okay. But you also get a little bit of chocolate, which that chocolate smell yeah. profile, it's like the like 25% of what yeah. chocolate no, you're right. smells you're right. from. You're right. 
it has that weird, I don't know what it is, it's the one outline smell that is on chocolate that is like interesting, like there's really chocolate and then there's this little tinge smell and that's there. So when it settles and there's no head on it, I'm smelling a lot of the vanilla, a lot of the chocolate. When I mixed it all up, I'm getting the cinnamon. I definitely was getting the cinnamon and the cinnamon, yeah, as the head goes down, the cinnamon's coming out even more. Now, for all the people there uh, in Wonderland, uh, they're like, drink the damn beer. <laughs> you yeah. guys have been sniffing that thing for five it minutes. Great. <laughs> you know, I think, I think this one last year, or last year was brewed with, with chilies or something. All right. Kind of weird. We'll, we'll, we'll get, get to Let's get taste. to the taste. <laughs> Sorry to talk about this so much. It was mm. a good smell. It's pretty good. Thin in the body like I thought. Yeah. It's got a thin, silky body. I'm getting um, the, the chocolate's got a nice aftertaste going for it. The chocolate it's, it's the dominant flavor. The chocolate is what you'd expect when they say cocoa nibs. Yeah. A lot of these. It's actually you can taste the cocoa nibs. Good job. It doesn't taste like chocolate syrup, or chocolate like some like like Rogue does or some of these guys. Um, the little bits of cinnamon, you almost get a nougat from the vanilla and the chocolate. The cinnamon makes it. It spicy. tastes like a chocolate syrup from you. It, that's what that nougaty middle yeah. part tastes like. It uh, the cinnamon uh, adds some spiciness to the, the palate there. Mm -hmm. You get some spiciness in the mid palate. It's what uh, that McKellar Santa's little helper should have been at least, but maybe double it. Yeah, for McKellar. Yeah, because um, they had a lot of the same flavor spectrum that they were talking they had. Um, no, this is really good. They did a good job. It, you know, you throw a, a southern tier malt body on there, and uh, you'd have a really good beer here. Make this imperial or something. I'm getting a lot of the natural flavors coming through. It's great that you can taste that cinnamon even when you're drinking it. Normally cinnamon, you get it in the nose. You don't get it in the drink. Maybe you'll get it in the aftertaste, if anything. But this, I could taste it throughout the um, throughout the drink. It's very, it's so. got a very Mexican chocolate flavor, with uh, you know chocolate and cinnamon. That's Mexican yeah. chocolate. This My is an imperial. Said. Wow. Is it really? If that's imperial, you better go, you know, I don't know, Quad? <laughs> dynasty on it or something. <laughs> <laughs> You better sink my battleship, because you know that gonna... feels like a, <laughs> a that feels like a regular porter, where it yeah. usually feels watery, like the body feels like a porter, where it's kind of watery and you just wanted so much more out of it. Yeah. Um, final thoughts? So I'm gonna say final thoughts on this. Boom. Uh, I'm gonna give this a I'm gonna give it an 84 overall. Uh, the flavor profile is actually right. I'm gonna give them good, great credit on that. It's just too small of a beer especially claiming to be imperial um and then for the style which is just imperial i don't know imperial concoction it's kind of like a mess. um i'm gonna say i'm gonna say about an 86 probably and i'm gonna give it a i'm gonna give it a b plus i would have gone b because of the lightness of the beer but because of the flavors i'm gonna go to b plus but that's the most i can do yeah no i totally agree uh, i was gonna go b plus also Beer disciples. <laughs> <laughs>